Get ready to revive the outdoors with Cody and Cody. That's how it's supposed to be done. On the water, in the woods. Pursuits made possible by Trigicon. Brilliant aiming solutions. Brunton, equipment for outdoor adventures. Lacrosse, established in 1897, built the last. Ginsu Outdoors, not just sharp, wicked sharp. Gerber, fend for yourself. Get ready to revive the outdoors. Welcome to today's show. We uh, got the 2008 Missouri State Championship for the Bass Pro Shop Crafter Masters Tournament out on Truman Lake out of Clinton, Missouri. This is uh, my second time back to Buck Stall, so I know, I know what kind of time we can have down here, know how the fishing is. Cody's been several lakes here in Missouri, but this is his first time here at uh, Truman and, and Bucksaw. We're excited to be here, but uh, guys, you know, we can sit around and talk all day, but the fish is out there waiting on us. Let's get on the water. Let's, Let's hit it. it. There we go. I couldn't mention earlier, the crop fishing was a little slow this morning. That's just kind of some of the conditions that's been going on in the lake. Uh, hopefully, it'll pick up before the tournament kicks off. But uh, he's fighting pretty good. Out here at Bucksaw, they have a a lot of varieties. Yeah, we'll take them. So we decided to come out here, try to you catch some sand bass for y'all, and for ourselves as well. <laughs> oh. You still hung up? Nope. nope. We'll take them white, striped, hybrid, black, it don't matter. What's that? We are not partial, we just like a bite. That's right. This is what I'm be using. A bunch of spoon design that's got another little willow blade by the treble hook. Just give a lot of flash, something uh, that's gonna be real erratic in the water. Fish on! All right. Well, welcome to today's show. We are uh, out here on Truman Lake for the 2008 Crappie Ma Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Missouri State Championship. And right now we decided to get out and uh, Catch a little bit of these guys, some white bass, or uh, back from Oklahoma, we call them sandies or sand bass. And he's not the uh, biggest guy in the world, but hey, he'll start the day off right. We'll put him back, but uh, we got a great show for you. Like I said, we got the Missouri State Championship, the first leg and the second leg right here on uh, Truman Lake. Lake. There's another one. Fish on. This left-handed reeling business, I ain't real sure about it. It's good practice though, man. What do y'all say about them fish down here, Brian? They got some shoulders on them. Got some shoulders on them. Not bad. Oh yeah. Not bad. Fish on. Gotcha. Straight out. Well, good little Sandy. We're out here uh, at Truman Lake catching sand bass. That's what we came out here for. Right now we're uh, catching some good sand bass. Hopefully we pull in some more. Oh, two on. Monster, monster. Dijon. Alert, alert. All right. In the boat. Uh-oh. Right. There it is. There we go. Three good. on. That's a good one. That counts as a triple. Getting back into we again. both had Hopefully fish in our hand. One up. Fish on back here. Man, you didn't stay rolling on the triple. We had three fish. We had big fish. Look at him. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that little sand bass fishing segment. I know we did. Uh, it's always great to be able to get on a lake like Truman, do some crop fishing in the morning, do some bass fi uh, sand bass fishing in the evening, just kind of change it up a little bit. But right now, we're going to head back in, but when we head out on the water in the morning, we're going to do a little bit more crappie fishing and bring you the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Missouri State Championship along with the championship team. So stick around. It's going to be a tough day, but I think they're going to be able to pull it out, and it's going to be uh, definitely interesting. 
stick around. Well, hey everybody, welcome to today's show. We've got a, a, just another awesome show lined up for you. Joining me right now with, in my boat is uh, Mr. Marvin and Mr. Jim, uh, owner of Bucksaw Resort and Marina. And in my cohort's boat, Mr. Cody Eastham is Paul Alpers, president of Crappie Masters. Mr. Brad Coates, he's uh, taking us around and trying to get us lined up on, on some of these crappie. And the way we're fishing today is uh, we just got some jigs uh, uh, and we're either just using a jig head and tipping it with minnow or I've got a, actually a tube jig from Rocky Top and I've got it tipped with a minnow and we're just hitting all these uh, these trees, these hedgerows, I guess is what they call them down here, hedgerows and then there's some fish on. Oh, man. <laughs> Cody, we're, like, we're, we're crappie fishing. Not here. hitting like a crappie. Crappie fishing. There's something new in the woods. A major shift in the balance of power. Now there's commando. All weather pot calls, mouth calls, and hunting accessories let you command the wild. Commando, hunting products with an edge. The edge to success. From Ginsu Outdoors, wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel. Superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. I won't apologize for being a man. Or let you work harder than me. I will protect those in need. And be the guy others depend on. I will fend for myself. through today's show and not only are we going to bring you the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Missouri State Championship, the first and second leg right here from Truman Lake in Clinton, Missouri, but we're also going to bring you some tips and te techniques. Fish at home. Oh yeah, there's the Truman Lake couple. Nice fish. There we go. I'll throw that bass back where we can look at the that crappie. Come on in here if you bet it. Yes. Yes sir. Nice fish, Mr. Paul. Yes, sir. How deep you go on that one, Colonel? 15 foot. And he eat it. 26 foot of water, 15 foot down. Folks, there you go. Truman Lake crappie. Very nice crappie. Rocky top. Jig. Pumpkin seed and chartreuse. I've been using that jig for the last month up here. And haven't ever had to change colors. Nice solid body jig. Great crappie, about 15 foot down the hedges. Brad looks like you got us on them, Bill. I hope it stays that way. Hopefully we'll catch a few more like that. And I know they'd like to have one like that in tournament time. <laughs> Let's let him go back and we'll catch him another day. Well, you know, I got to thinking too. You know, Brad, you mentioned, you know, a certain tree in here that there's a fish, fish on. on. There we yeah, go. You mentioned a tree that might have a bite on it. These guys, Mr. Marvin's doing it. Well, that's these the, up uh, next to. First in for our boat, but uh, while we kind of mess around here a little bit, let's head into the first leg of the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crop Masters Missouri State Championship and see how these guys are faring out on the water today out here at Truman Lake. We might be catching them at a pretty good time, Paul. Two fish right as we're pulling up. Well, I'll tell you what, Cody. First day of the Missouri State Championship here on Truman Lake. And I've already seen them catch two here from a distance. Looks like they're fishing an old lay down there. Mm -hmm. Got the team, the B&M Pro Staff team, Jim Barbariti here from Southern Missouri. 
There we hey, go. Hey, look at her. <laughs> Told her it was on that log. <laughs> uh oh. You get that on film? Uh -huh. Yeah. Now you can turn the camera off and you hear it yell. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cody, here we are. First leg, first day of the Missouri State Championship. And we've already seen several fish caught by Jim Barberitti, the Bass Pro Shop team. And Folks, we got uh, about 82 degrees surface temperature here. Looks like the fog's burning off. Cloud cover's gonna be a sunny, what'd they say, 96 today, Cody? 96 and 100, either way, it's gonna be warm. 98 tomorrow, but uh, it looks like the bite has picked up. Uh, you know, they quit running water here uh, to speak of. I think somebody said the other day they was just running just a trickle. And so that could entice these fish, as we all know, and Brad knows here in Bucks Hall when the lake stabilizes, uh, gets hot. And we always say at Trim Lake, the hotter it gets, the better it gets. So, folks, just stay tuned. Cody, we're going to go up and see if we can find a few more teams catching some big slabs. And I'm kind of excited now about this way. And I'm telling you, the way the way this first boat's going, uh, I think we'll probably get some more fish on video today without much problem. But you can also see how you can lose one just pretty fast. We've seen that <laughs> the agony of defeat. I feel bad. I'm not even <laughs> fishing the tournament. <laughs> but it does happen. Well, let's go see if we can find some more of these boats, and hopefully they'll be on some big fish, too. Cody. And we just approached our uh, next anglers, and who do we have here? Paul. It's Jackie Alban and mm -hmm. Marty Snyder. And Jackie and Marty are probably one of the top favorites to maybe be the winner of this Missouri State Championship. Now, are they local to this lake? Yeah, they've been here fishing all their life. So they placed pretty high in the one pole tournament that we had here, but after the second day, they figured them out. But looks like to me they've got some nice ladies' so they're going to fish here. Mm -hmm. fishing so it's pretty slow how are y'all fishing we got seven no big ones so they're trying to call out some fish and pick up some of those slabs there's a fish oh well team Hammond has a limit of fish but they're trying to pick up some of the bigger slabs so they can cull some out but let's head into some footage of us fishing earlier and we'll show you some tips and techniques and then we'll head back out on the water here on Truman Lake and meet up with some other teams and see how they're doing Good thing to keep in mind when you're out here crappie fishing, obviously we're fishing cover. And uh, as it goes on through the day and, and starts warming up, these fish are gonna, uh, nine, what, nine times out of 10, probably stick to the shady side of a tree, using the shade as for one more cover, but uh, obviously it's gonna be the cooler side of the tree and whatnot. And so during, as the day goes on, things warm up, find where that sun's hitting, get on the backside of that tree and and uh, there. there's a yeah, trying to pull some of the fish off that, fish. off that little more That's covered side. Fish. Yeah. There we go. I called that tree, didn't I, boys? Called it. There we go. There we go. From Ginsu Outdoors, wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel, superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. 
Do any amount of hunting and you'll appreciate the next generation of Alpha boots by LaCrosse. These new Alpha lights not only keep your feet warm and dry like the original Alphas, they're even lighter and more comfortable. LaCrosse hasn't left out the snug ankle fit or aggressive outsole either. They've just taken out some of the weight, making the trip from the tree stand to the truck all the easier. We all know that other boots cost a few bucks less, but your feet pretty much end up paying for it. And that's why I've kept a pair of LaCrosse boots in my truck for over 20 years. Oh, double with the with the old with the old panfish, the old bluegill. Now, yeah, look at that one. That's a tournament winner right there. There's a fish. There's a fish. Good fish. A little bit. Let's head into the first leg of the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Missouri State Championship and see how these guys are faring out on the water today out here at Truman Lake. Well, Cody's here's Richard Bowling and his partner Gary Lee. He, he stays on these fish pretty regular out here on Truman. That's right, he's also uh, won a few tournaments out, tournaments out here and uh, definitely uh, one, of the, one of the teams that can, can get into the money and, uh, possibly, possibly even win. So, there's a fish on. Like I said, Gary has a uh, black and chartreuse, and that's he's tipping with minnow. And that's a, a, a nice fish. Now they have their limits, so I don't know if that's one that they'll call a call or not. Nope. They must, they must have some good, good fish enough. in the box. Oh, wow. There we go. There's a fish. The guys on the water, they're uh, they're doing all right, but uh, you know, with the uh, the changes in the lake and and kind of how the weather's been. Acting, uh, it's been a uh, the fish have been a little lethargic, but uh, you know those guys they they've seen a lot of different lakes, they've seen a lot of different uh, uh, variables when they're out in the, the tournament circuit, so they can uh, pull some big fish in. So let's head in the weigh in and see how uh, how they pull out for the first leg of the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crop Masters Missouri State Championship. Day team Burnworth. This is an adult youth father son team, and uh, we've seen these guys on several of the tournaments that Cody and I have been at. And these guys are always a couple of that we we look forward to seeing what they're gonna bring in. Guys, y'all had a great day today. What was your, what was the weight that y'all brought in today? Uh, nine sets. We're gonna meet up with the first place team and see what they have to say, and then we're gonna head into the second leg of the state championship. Stick around. Oh, oh, look out! What an exciting day out on the water for the first leg of 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crocking Masters Missouri State Championship. And, uh, you know, Cody and I went out and we were, we, you know, when we were fishing, uh, kind of pre fishing before the tournament, kind of to find out the conditions on our own. Uh, we were fishing about, uh, I'd say, 10 to 12, uh, 12 feet and pulling in some, some fairly nice fish, uh, you know, using some jigs, tipped with minnows. Uh, were y'all pretty much fishing that, that same style, or, or did y'all have a few tricks up your sleeve? We had a few tricks up our okay. sleeve. On Truman Lake, a lot of times in the summertime, people don't realize these, these fish, the hotter it gets, the shallower these fish get. Some of the biggest fish, bigger fish we caught probably was in two and, two and a half to three and a half foot of water. Well, the talk has been Osage River was going to be a hot spot for this tournament. And I understand y'all were fishing Osage. Of course, it's, it's pretty long and winding lakes. So there's, there's a lot of water in Osage part of the river. But do y'all think y'all will be fishing the same area, fishing the same fish, or y'all going to move on to some different areas tomorrow? Well, we, we had a couple of spots that uh, we had uh, located that we didn't fish today that we caught real good fish on. We're going to go back and fish pretty much what we fished yesterday or today. And then we'll, if we don't do any good, we'll hit these other spots. Well, hey, definitely a congratulations to you all. This is Team Bailey, the uh, grip and check guys. Yep, uh, definitely we're going to try to catch up with them tomorrow while they're out on the water and see if they can't hold on to this lead. But let's, uh, let's get out the heat for now, kind of wind down for this evening. But y'all stick around because we're going to be bringing you the second leg of the Missouri State Championship.
Hey, for those of you who have followed Cody and I's show, you know that all our hunts are 100% fair chase, so anything that give us the upper edge in the woods, we're all about it. That's right, Cody. And getting to the stand is half about it, but we know we can go through some of the toughest terrain, silent and scent free with the all new, all electric Stealth 4x4. Check them out at the number at the bottom of the screen or go to their website today. Up there, by the edge. I'm on him. Wait till he turns. When you ready. Great shot. Brilliant aiming solutions. Now with four self-luminous reticles to choose from, you'll be sure to get your trophy. Trichicon. Fish on. Fish on. Good place, yeah. Alright. Alright. That's a good looking fish, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 That's old catfish there. There's a fish. Okay. Alright, well now we're approaching the second place team. It's a adult youth team, Tony and Jacob Burnworth, and they're uh and second by only 0.04 pounds. That's how, how far down they are. So uh, definitely in contention for the lead. But uh, we're going to watch them fish a little bit, and then we're going to ask uh, what kind of techniques they're using as well. But I mean, they said they're sitting with a, a good, you know, about eight pounds of fish. And when you have 9.7 and add another eight on there, uh, plus you could pull a, a big kicker fish, I mean, they're, they're sitting in a good spot. They're definitely in the money uh, for sure. But whether they can pull off that lead, um, Hopefully they can. Hopefully while we're here, they can, they can pull in a big old speck and uh, kind of seal the deal. Well, Jacob, do you, uh, do you and your dad pretty much fish the same style, or do you have a, a little something that you do differently that works for you that he does, you know, he's got his own thing that works for him, or how's that work? We both do pretty much the same. There's a fish. Uh, there he is. There we go. There's another good fish coming in the boat. It's a pretty fish. Well, let's go see if we can find some more of these boats and hopefully they'll be on some big fish too. Fish on. Fish. There we go. There we go. There you go. That's the kind of fish these guys are out here looking for. Nice, nice. I'm a net man today. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a prop on the boat before it started by. Nice fish. Nice fish. Cody, that's well, why these guys are currently in first place. That's right. We just met up with the uh, grip and check guys, and uh, you know they kind of had a, a little problem earlier. They uh, spun one of their props, and uh, fortunately, the boat we're in, Mr. Brad Coates, uh, had an extra prop, and we were able to get them uh, fixed up, and they headed out, and they picked up a few good fish in the area that they're uh, that they're fishing in right now, and pretty much doing the same thing that they were doing yesterday. What type of uh, jigs are y'all y'all using? Rocky top. Rocky top. Yeah. Doing rocky top jigs and. Uh, Fishing what, about eight feet? Yeah, this is uh, anywhere from nine, eight, nine to probably three and four foot. Okay. So yeah. still still picking up uh, some of those more shallow fish, but uh, they're doing pretty good. How much weight do y'all think y'all are carrying right now? Probably eight and a half, I'd say. Yeah, around eight. And eight and a half? Getting eight and three quarter. I'm still looking for that big one. Yep, you pull in another one nine and uh, <laughs> I think y'all be y'all be sitting pretty good. So let's head in the weigh in and see how uh, how they pull out the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Missouri State Championship. Good. 
Here they come from Clinton and Cashville, Richard Bowling and Gary Lee. They need 957. They need 957. Nine, they need 957. Nine, they got to have 957. Let's hear it for them, 957. Do they have it today? They need 957 to set in the hot seat. You got them, Richard? You got 957? 957. They got a load in there. He said it's going to be close. Let's see. Uh oh, look out. Hey! Uh oh! Master Tournament here on Truman Lake in Missouri. Guys, congratulations. Mr. Gary Lee and Richard Bowling. Guys, y'all wore these fish out. Tell us if there was one thing that you could tell the folks watching. We've, we've heard tip after tip this weekend, and everybody's asked y'all the same question, but if there's one thing that made the difference, what would you tell folks at home watching that they could come up here on Truman and catch some big crappie? One thing that I would tell everybody is look for something a little bit different. Look for an isolated tree, a tree that sits off to itself, uh, make sure it's got stuck on the grand arm, got 10 foot of water on it, and fish it. You know, these fish up here don't get too shallow. The key to us winning today was coming in, we pulled on a spot that we knew nobody had fished along right. the river channel, and fished the outside tree where he hadn't been a boat, and we loaded the boat pretty quick. Once again, we'd like to congratulate the 2008 Brass Pro Shop Crappie Masters State Champions. We'd also like to thank Bucksaw Resort Marina for hosting such a great event. We'd like to thank, of course, Bass Pro Shop, Tracker Marine, Mercury Motors, and of course Toyota Tundra, the official truck of the 2008 Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Tournament Trail. And until next time, remember, stay outdoors. We would like to thank you, the sportsmen, for joining us on Revive the Outdoors with Cody and Cody. We would like for you to share your outdoor adventures. Visit us at CodyandCody.tv. Join us again next week right here on Revive the Outdoors with Cody and Cody. This is definitely a good fish, but it's kind of a, a teaser.